Uh, so the next question for Ask Me Anything series is when should you go all in on an investment? Uh, meaning kind of like, I guess, I guess, again, I'm only assuming because some of these people listen to this is stupid questions don't even actually take the time to write out a full question, which then, you know, makes me actually wonder why should we even answer a question when someone can't even write one. But uh, I think the question came from, from several people that asked, should you actually drop all your money on one thing if you really believe in it? Like, should that be the right way to go forward? And, and I think, uh, and when should that time be? You know, when, when are you like completely certain? So whenever you realize that you are the sole reason you're gonna succeed or fail, you're the sole reason an investment is gonna make money or not, and you are the only reason the only reason on any level that anything can move forward or backward is you and not the investment itself, not the business itself, not the idea itself, then that's when you go in all in on yourself. Uh, you know, like I gave up my job. I got fired the first time, right? You guys know this. Uh, if you've been following kind of what I talk about in Third Circle Theory and on secretentrepreneurs.com, then you kind of know I've gotten fired from corporate America, really young, quarter million dollar salary, have a good day, get the fuck out of here, bye bye, right? So, you know, I, I'm like kind of lost. I'm like, all right, let me go and start these businesses. Then I go get a, get another job again, kind of similar job, a little bit less pay, but you know, for that kind of money, like you kind of go to work again. But what I quickly realized is in, in going back kind of to work was that I used to rely kind of on the system to, to pay me, right? And I realized that the system like was not really what, what was paying me, it was myself. So I realized that what, what I needed to do was not just consider that I have a job or not, was to really consider that I was the one making the money and that it was never going to change regardless of who I worked for, if I worked for myself or others. And that there was no such thing as a set salary on any level. Uh, and that was just an illusion created by society. And so, you know, when I decided to go all in, I, I pretty much said, you know what, I'm gonna bet on me that I can come up with solutions faster and get my salary back up within 12 months exactly what it was without relying on anybody else. Now, just keep in mind, for those of you that know me, you know, I had real estate money, like, saved up. I, I had been doing okay, so it's not like I went into this with, like, no money and I'm, like, broke on the side of the road. No, I still had a Lambo. I was still doing well. The, the thing, though, was that at that moment, I had a choice to make, you know? It's like, do you go all in and invest on yourself and eventually run out of money, or do you go ahead and kind of ride the wave and, and kind of do both, you know? I chose to take a chance on myself, but I, I took that chance knowing that I was the sole responsibility behind making it or failing, and that there was nothing in my environment, and I really mean I believe that to the deepest core, there was nothing in my environment that would keep me or prevent me from being successful other than myself. When you come to that realization in life, uh, you start taking bigger risks because you realize that regardless of the risk you're taking, uh, the worst risk you can take is just not betting on yourself. So I highly, highly recommend uh, for everybody uh, and anybody to just really, really pay attention uh, to, the, to the investments you make. And I don't mean that in a, which stock market, which stock are you investing in, but rather looking at every investment, including the financial ones you make, as an investment of yourself uh, to yourself. Like when you invest in a stock, it's, your, it's based on you, right? It's based on your research is based on your understanding, and you're not gonna win them all, but it's based on yourself. It's always based on you, and the same goes when you start a business. When your business is doing well, you can kind of be fearful, can it continue, can it not? But then you have to really think about it as, hey, it's on you if it continues to be successful or not. It has nothing to do with if the environment continues to allow it to be successful. You're gonna eventually find success uh, in everything you do if you stick with it. And if you get to a place where you realize that everything has and will always be in your hands. So I think you go all in on investment once you start realizing that the, your environment, your circumstance will never be the reason your investment fails or succeeds, but rather you are. Someone asked, what should you do when you need to engineer a product uh, and you have no engineering skills and so therefore your idea requires physical construction?